Morning guys. So have you ever gone through a stage in your life where you've exercised and exercised and exercised and you still haven't been able to lose weight? Or maybe you've been to the gym and you have seen people walking day in, day out on treadmills, the same people, week in, week out, and they haven't lost weight. Have you ever noticed this? Hi, I'm Belinda and I'm a women's health mentor and I help women take control of their health. And one of those factors that I help with is weight, okay? Um, and I see this time in and time out with a lot of um, people I work with and clients that uh, speak to me on the phone. And they have this problem where they are exercising, they are trying to lose the weight, but they are just not moving. And I have been there myself. I used to walk and run and uh, do all these sit-ups and push-ups and try everything to lose the baby weight because I've had four babies. So after each baby, I would have this huge uh, fitness thing. I'm going to lose this baby weight as quick as possible, you know, and you know, and a lot of the time it didn't move. It still sat on my hips or my thighs or the baby belly just sat there and it didn't move. So why is that? And what have I done to change that? Okay. So one thing I discovered in my journey is that weight loss actually comes from 85% diet. Yep. So only 15% of weight loss comes from exercise. So, you know, you know how you go to the gym and you do this massive workout and you think, oh, I've done a really good workout now. I've lost all these calories and I've burnt them all off. Now I can go out for a coffee and a cake with my friends. Have you ever done that? Like I have, you feel really good and you're like, yeah, I've got rid of so many calories. Now I can just eat whatever I like. Like, you know, I've been there. I've done that. I've fallen for that trap. Like, you know, who hasn't? So what are the real benefits to exercise? Okay, so I've got about, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 benefits to exercise. And these are real benefits and don't include weight loss. Okay, so number one is preventing muscle mass loss. Okay, so when you are exercising regularly, you prevent, you know, the loss of muscle. Muscle has a memory, okay, and you can keep that muscle and that tone, okay. People want to, you know, they want to get fit and they want to get toned. Well, that is one benefit to doing exercise, okay. Uh, number two is that it builds your antioxidant reserve. Now, if you know anything about antioxidants, they are anti-aging, Okay, they are the things that keep your body young and vibrant. Okay, so this is obviously very important, right? But once again, it doesn't have anything to do with weight loss. Okay, number three is increased oxygen. So you're increasing the oxygen supply to the blood and you can have better oxygen throughout your body. Now, what does this do? This increases your energy. Okay, so that you have more energy to get through the day. Okay, number four is decreases stress. Once again, because of the oxygen that you're putting into your body, you can actually decrease stress with regular exercise. Now, on a side note here, if you are exercising every day of the week or four days or four or five days or six days or seven days a week and you are not um, seeing weight loss, then maybe drop it back because what you're actually doing is putting too much stress on your body, okay? And this is a fine line between, uh, you know, uh, putting too much stress on your body and decreasing stress, okay? So if you're trying to do exercise to lose weight and you are doing it regularly, like super regularly, like every single day and you're doing, you know, uh, high intensity workouts to try and lose the weight so that you can eat whatever you like, then you're probably going to be putting too much stress on your body. So when you, you this is a fine line. So it can decrease stress when you are doing it uh, on a consistent, regular basis, but not super intense. Okay. Uh, number five, I think we're up to. I should have numbered these so I could read them. Is increased circulation. So 
when you are increasing the oxygen, you are increasing the blood flow and healing comes with blood flow. Okay, so increasing the circulation is quite important. Okay, number six is enhanced sleep. Okay, so when you have a, you know, a regular, not too intense exercise regime, you can increase the amount of sleep that you're getting at night and you are getting a better quality sleep. Okay, so this can obviously be, have very good benefits. Now, if you, I've just got off a, um, a seminar with a doctor that I follow and he says that if you are, you know, have the option, if you are not getting enough sleep and you are waking up early to go and make yourself exercise, then he reckons sleep is actually more important than the exercise. So if you are putting on the alarm and um, not getting enough sleep at night, but making yourself go for exercise really early in the morning to, to try and help you, then probably sleep is actually more important. Uh, so that's a side note on that one that I saw this morning. Uh, number eight or seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I'm right. I can count, see, uh, is strengthened heart muscle. Okay, so your heart is actually a muscle. And when you're doing regular exercise, you are increasing that muscle and looking after it. Okay, so that's another good point. Now, number nine is enhanced cognitive function. Okay, and enhanced mood as well. Okay, so you're enhancing the way that your brain functions. Okay, it's pretty important. And you're enhancing your mood and be able to keep yourself better balanced. Okay, so these are some things to take into account when doing exercise. And exercise is very important. However, if you're doing it for weight loss, maybe, you know, look more at diet. Okay, exercise is very important for all of these factors that I've just mentioned. But if you're doing it for weight loss, then maybe try something a bit different, okay? So like I said, diet is 85% weight loss and exercise only comes in at 15%. What is actually important on another side note is your recovery rate. So, you know, people who are actually doing exercise high intensity exercise every day for an extended period of time are putting their bodies under stress. And what you need to be able to do is recover quickly. So if your body is not recovering quickly, then you're actually putting your body under a lot of stress. So that's when they say, um, you know, yes, you should be doing push-ups or sit-ups or whatever to, to do that short burst, one or two minutes of high intensity exercise, and then you have a longer recovery. So maybe you do a workout for one minute and then you have five minutes of recovery, you know, and let your body recover. So if your body can recover between these short bursts, you're actually going to see more benefits weight loss wise than doing like an hour workout, full intensity workout. So, you know, a huge aerobic workout or <clears throat> running on the treadmill or whatever can actually cause more stress in the body. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. This came up because a, uh, a, a guest we have in the house has just said to me, I need to go do, you know, some more exercise. I'm getting fat. And I'm like, nope, you need to look at your diet more and stop eating the marshmallows that you are feeding the kids <laughs> because it's more diet than exercise. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and I'll talk to you at this time tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.